on Channel 4. Now, time for Richie Anderson to give us the full story behind the footage that we showed you a little bit earlier. Yeah, and as you are up to all now on QI... Yes. Uh, Good knowledge. The next four and a half minutes is kind of off the scale and out there. <laughs> Enjoy it. 28-year-old Scott Wright is from Atherston, a market town in the Midlands. Since he was a kid, he's had just one dream. For as long as I can remember, it's been about this day, it's been about winning the ball game. Scott's been training for the last three months for this 819-year-old tradition that's unique to this town. Now, being a lad from the Midlands myself, of course I've heard a lot of stories about this medieval game that's played every year on Shrove Tuesday. But to the people from this town, it's much more than just a game. It starts with a giant leather ball being kicked up and down the high street, and it ends with a rugby-type scrum where players try to be the one holding the ball at the end. This is where it happens, up and down this street, from one end to the other. The whole surrounding areas know about it, everyone looks forward to it. Why is it so important? It brings everyone together and, and you know, as a child, you, you look up to the winner as, 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 as a hero. For the last two weeks, the ball's been taken to all the nursing homes, care homes, schools, you know, all, all the kids have a look at the ball, they all sign the ball. There's no referee but stewards are on hand to try and maintain order. It can get a little bit tasty at times, but that's just purely for the desperation of the people of Atherston wanting to win. I'm fully expecting, if I've got it, you know, a, lot, a load of other blokes to come at me. There's no prizes for winning, just the opportunity to be this year's local hero. But for Scott's mum, being a hero could come at a price. It's scary, I, I've seen some of the aftermath injuries, you know, I get quite anxious myself and quite can't breathe until the klaxon goes at five o'clock and then they start peeling back the bodies and then it's quite a, whew, at least it's over now. It's the morning of the big game. All the shops and businesses on the high street are making their final preparations. The crowd starts to gather. And at three o'clock, the ball drops. A group of people have just been slammed into that shop over there trying to get hold of the ball. And it's just unbelievable, really. I don't know where the ball is now. Eventually, the stewards get things under control and the ball is kicked up the high street. I just said a ball come out the window and like a massive scrum. <laughs> What was that all about? A crazy ball game at Atherston. It's fun to watch. I've been coming down since I was a kid at school and everything, so, yeah, it's great fun. I've just seen loads of people with, like, ripped shirts and yeah, yeah. scratches on their faces yeah, and stuff. It's always what it's like every year. And at the end, you're under there for a good half an hour and you're looking to come out for your life. They're charging now towards that shop. The final ball's been kicked. Oh, my God, they're punching each other! Oh, my God! What are they fighting for? Pride of Addison. This is what we fight for. Come on! <laughs> this is all we know. It was just a big fight in the middle of the street. Why do you want to watch that? Why do you want the kids to watch it? It's fun. Where is the ball? The ball. Oh, that one. That one. Scott is on top of the crowd trying to get the ball. Amongst the people, I spot his mum, Diane. I just want it to be over soon. It will be over soon. There is a police presence, but they leave the security to the organisers. Tony Clues is the mayor and the chairman of the town council who helped finance the game. How can you ensure people's safety today? Well, you can never ensure people's safety. People do get injured and they do have health and safety people on site, so it's really at their own risk. So you must have seen some of this disorder. Well, uh, it can be, but look, I haven't seen anything that uh, would raise my concerns. To what, what would raise your concerns? Well, people dying, obviously. It's five o'clock and the game has come to an end. That was an experience. And whoever the winner is, they've really been through the mill. They really have. It's local lad Macaulay Riley who was able to hold onto the ball and is the new Atherston ball game champion. As the crowds disperse, I catch up with Scott. 
for me, watching that, it was quite uncomfortable at times. And for that to be happening in broad daylight in 2018... No, yeah, I get that, but you're not an Addiston lad. The people of this town understand it. It's, it's part of our culture, you know, and the ball game can't stop. This is what we live for, you know? <laughs> wow, Richie and Scott are here now. <laughs> <laughs> Don't hang on to him too hard, or we're going to be in trouble. But, um, Scott, I mean, you, you said to us earlier on, when that shot finished you actually burst into tears yeah i was i was very emotional there you know 12 months of preparation and gone into that day and and, and this thing here may not look like much to some but to to Addiston people it's everything yeah, yeah. And, you know my, my dream another year has sort of passed by where i didn't manage to take it take it home well, as we sort of saw and heard, health and safety is kind of non-existent in Atherstone, as, as far as this is concerned. They even boarded up the chemist. Exactly. <laughs> you couldn't even get a plaster if you want. You know, you're kind of... You're pesting each other. But yeah. what happens when the game finishes then? You know, are you still at each other's throats or kind of...? As soon as that klaxon goes, the winner's declared. You know, we, we shake hands like in other sports. As soon as it's finished, it's finished. We have a few beers, we tell tales of previous ball games, we mix with the older generation who have won ball games, and our stories will hopefully carry on through the, through the younger generations as well. But it's, as soon as that collection's done, it's, we're gone, yeah. it's finished. Yeah. Have that a all, few that beers. That all takes place at A&E, does it? <laughs> 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 I'm sure everyone in Atherston's over the moon that you're on the one show tonight. Uh, but, uh, um, it... Richard, I mean, you, you were... Well, you were just visibly shocked by what you were seeing. No, I've signed up for next year. No, <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? The one thing I will say is, like, you said to me before, if you don't come from Atherston, you can't understand what it means to the people. And if you win that, you become a legend in the town. Yeah. Your family's yeah. name is, like, in lights forever. So we were walking around one day and you were, like, saying, oh, that's John who won it in 1994. Oh, it's Bob over there who won it in 1982. Yeah. So the kudos Limping of winning it... Yeah. <laughs> Winning himself down the high street. I don't know, I won in 94. <laughs> but, admittedly, like, even now, I can't understand why it's so important. I mean, I'd be terrible yeah. if I was holding that ball with one minute to go and somebody like you yeah. was running at me, I'd be like, have it! So I don't think it would go down very well. But the community spirit is incredible. I yeah. mean, there's not many events that bring that many people out together no. that everyone can share in. No, I mean, it's, it's, it's a wonderful town and it's full of wonderful people, you know, yeah. so yeah. that day, we, we, you know, that is... We, we blow off some steam in the afternoon, but still, you know, we welcome anyone to come, participate. There's, Kid, kids can get involved in sort of their flick out golden penny, and if a kid wins that, the flow sweets. There's pancake races. There's a lot of sort of community spirit around the whole ball game. The names on the ball from care homes and schools. It's a big, big family thing. It to was enjoy. everyone. It was everyone from yeah. you know oh, you young to that, old. Yeah. Everybody from the town of Atherston on that day pretty much was there. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It brings the community together. Your mum was in bits there. Oh, no. <laughs> she's yeah. not that keen on it. No. She's... You know what I'd do? I'd have a decoy ball. Couple of the decoy balls. <laughs> <laughs> it's over there! <laughs> like that. Just disperse it a bit. Hang on to it. Yeah. There you go. Well, well, thank you so much, Richie. Yeah. We look forward to your effort next year. Yeah, I'm scared to touch it now, just in case you like bulldoze me to <laughs> right, the floor. Just a little bit over there. <laughs> Get it away. A big thank you to the winner for lending us the ball as well for the evening. Yeah. Yes. Now, in a moment, we're going to be uh, meeting the singer tasked with playing Tina Turner in a brand new musical. Tina herself calls her an exceptional talent. But first, Jean Johansson is going river deep, mountain high. We had to, didn't we? Thank you.